I was wondering if you have any uh, tips or suggestions for professionals who want to sort of move up the ranks in the in similar ways that you did in forensics and risk management, or uh, you know, just start down the road in the first place. What what are some soft skills, hard skills, certifications that you recommend for people just getting started now? Um, I, I think the CISSP is a really good one to start with. Um, you know, for for new graduates, one of the biggest problems I think that they they face is that cybersecurity has so many different specialties. And, mm. you know, there may be a specialty that someone would be very good at that they may not even know exists, mm -hmm. um, like forensics. You know, how do you get from um, doing uh, to something like forensics? Well, right. first, you have to know that forensics exists and that it would be something you're interested in. And, you know, in terms of soft skills, flexibility, um, really working hard and also, uh, making sure that, you know, if say, say you do know you want to get into forensics, well, go online, go on LinkedIn, uh, go on Twitter, start, um, you know, exchanging messages with people that, you know, you respect or would hope they would mentor you. And you can certainly ask, you know, would you be interested in mentoring me? And right. There's also some really great groups that um, that mentor kids and they also mentor professionals that are trying to, whether they're in cyber, trying to move to something else hmm. or, you know, from a completely different career, move into the cybersecurity field. And I will tell you one thing that every every single person trying to switch the career moving into cybersecurity has on their side is there is an enormous shortage of yeah. people in these positions and they need to be filled. And kind of like how I just, you know, with my blue hair moved to San Francisco, you know, I was able to get, you know, my first job. I think that trend is, 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 is back now because we do have such a shortage of skilled, right. skilled people. Yeah. One, one of the things that, that I, I keep hearing from, other guests is that people outside of a tech field can still do really, really well in cybersecurity, that the, the tech can be taught as long as you have the, the sort of problem solving skills or the drive or the communication skills or the ability to, you know, explain your concepts to other people and so forth. And the other thing, Mike there, the other thing that I, I've really noticed is that even like people who are like heads of companies and high level, you know, all kinds of ranking executives are all saying like, Hey, hit me up on LinkedIn. I'm happy to answer any questions you have. Like the cybersecurity community is astonishingly open in terms of like helping people out who are, who are just getting started. It seems like. I mean, I've noticed that I, I've noticed that too. And I think it's a really, really great community to, to be involved in because mm -hmm. There is a lot of compassion. And I mean, I've just been pretty lucky, I guess, um, that the people that the majority of people I've worked with and have gotten have known, you know, they've been very helpful and they do want to help other people get into the field because they understand the shortage. But you are right. I mean, for something like forensics, you want to make sure that you have the right kind of soft skills. Right. Um, before kind of going into it. And for that, you know, you really sort of need a investigative mindset yeah. where you like, you know, solving problems, figuring out, well, who, who did it. Um, but also doing the work to get there. Cause you know, you, you can't just go from starting off to being, you know, a, a top level person overnight. Yeah. yeah you're not going to be trying your first case in court in a week. New episodes of the Cyberwork Podcast are available every Monday at 1 p.m. Central. And don't forget to check out our hands-on training series, Cyberwork Applied. Each week, expert InfoSec instructors teach you a new cybersecurity skill and show you how that skill applies to real-world scenarios. Go to infosecinstitute.com learn. Stay up to date on all things cyberwork.